Okay, so we're gonna have a chit chat. Um, I've got my coffee and uh, yeah, I got an indoor grow system. I, that was nightmare fuel, called the Grow Ace. And I initially was going to film the video of me setting it up. Okay, I've been struggling with this for probably about 30 minutes now and then using it and all the wonderful bits and bobs. Um, it wasn't that graceful of a setup and it was not a graceful first little round with this thing. So today we're gonna talk about the Grow Ace and why I wish this thing worked for me because I oh so badly love this concept, but it just keeps on failing. Setup is super versatile. You could spread these out as much as you desired. Um, you could have them at all different lengths. You could have these in a grow tent. You could have them in a straight line. You could make a square or a rectangle, you name it. The actual setup in and of itself is whatever you desire. The first issue I ran into was I was missing the con connector from the one little motor. So that's fine. They sent me the correct cor connector. That should have been the omen. This is gonna be a nightmare. So after that, I filled up the kind of basin type thing, that collapsible black thing, and it leaked. Now the leaking may have been the fact that I don't have any muscle um, because the place in which it leaked wasn't around a seam or anything. It was like literally where it connects. Okay, we are officially set up. Um, it's night, I went down here when it was daytime. It's nighttime now. That took a while. I wasn't expecting that. I, this part, I'm worried. So this thing in general, I'm worried about, there's like a tap drain on the bottom. I'm scared that's gonna leak. I put the plumber's tape on, I promise you I did. Um, my husband ended up putting like some sort of sealant on there, like silicone along with the plumber's tape, and then he tightened it on. It didn't leak after that. Obviously we had to let it dry, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then refilled it with water. Only to find out that one of the pumps when I went to go film today doesn't work. It's like fried and I don't know how it fried. I don't know if I fried it. I might have um, when it leaked out and it was running. Maybe it running dry wrecked it. I don't know. It's very possible. So. Anyways, we're back to square one with Mr. Grow Ace. I want this thing to work so freaking badly. Behind me is a three-part grow system, and this may be the solution to all your indoor growing problems. I think it'd be so cool to be able to grow like herbs, um, red robin tomatoes, determinant tomatoes, just in general, Peppers would do great in these things. Lettuce, obviously, you could do. And because it's each kind of dish is like a square foot, you could just use the square foot garden uh, method or whatever with this. So you would do like, for example, four lettuce plants per square foot, so many herb plants per square foot. It is really neat. It's a really cool concept. I just, I'm having such horrible luck with this thing. So I want you guys to comment down below if you want me to try this with LECA or potting soil. I obviously need to get a new motor. So there's that. Once I get the new motor, do you want to see it with LECA? Do you want to see it with potting soil? Um, Cause I'll fill it up with whatever you guys want to see grown inside. Does not matter to me at all. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna do like herbs, lettuce, that sort of thing once I do get this bugger up and running. But ultimately speaking, um, yeah, just bad luck so far with this grow ace. I am so sorry. <laughs> I wish it would work better for me, but yeah. And some of the issues I'm, I'm having are like common problems, particularly the leaking thing. Most YouTube channels are saying that it leaks. So I don't know. It's like a design flaw, but it's so close to being something really interesting, really cool. I don't have it in a grow tent. You could put it in a grow tent if you wanted. Obviously, if you put it in a grow tent, it would have made much less of a mess than what mine ended up making, obviously. Uh, but you would need to put kind of that big tank basin on the outside of the tent itself um, because it's way too large to put inside of the grow tent. The brain you could have in the tent, however, 
thank goodness. We're currently in the process of changing our flooring in our basement. So thank goodness the flooring was not in yet because that could have been bad. Um, yeah, I am gonna give this a shot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm tempted to wait until the snow thaws and then I'm gonna put it outside in like a sheltered space. I put it kind of like in a greenhouse or something like that, um, maybe under a low tunnel. I'm scared to fill it up inside again because I don't want to clean up the mess. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Grow Ace, thanks for sending me the grow kit. I'm sorry it's not working so far, but we will get it eventually. If you guys want to grow along with me with the Grow Ace, I will leave the link down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.